Okay, so today is a big day, hopefully. Um, today I have testing and labs, so I have an EKG, uh, blood labs, some breathing tests, sputum culture, uh, hearing, and eye exam. Basically, they're just doing like a full workup to um, check and make sure that the um, antibiotics that I'm on aren't taking, you know, too big of a toll on my body. It's the stuff that's not reversible. Um, and uh, the biggest part, which uh, well, I don't know if it's the biggest part because that other stuff is pretty big, <laughs> but but um, the hopefully most exciting part is that with the sputum culture, they're testing to see if there's been any change in MAC or um, if MAC is still showing up in my sputum in the same way. Um, and if it's a clear culture, that means that we start the year, uh, the countdown can start so that um, potentially treatment would end one year from whenever this first clear culture is, as long as the cultures are maintained. So um, that's what we're hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for today. Uh, so clear culture. So fingers, toes, and eyeballs crossed. Can I do that? Am I crossing my eyeballs? I don't know if I can cross my eyeballs, but um, they are intentionally, the intention is to have them crossed. Um, so I will uncross them so I can walk into the building and um, start this day. I'm not sure. It may be a long day. Don't really know. But um, hopefully it is. it will mark one of the first milestones in this round of treatment. So we'll see. I also wanted to mention that one, it's a beautiful sunny day here today. It's like supposed to be the nicest day of the week. So I'm hoping I can get out of clinic um, and not be here like forever until it's dark. But also I navigated myself here today without the GPS, which I guess maybe isn't like the most amazing feat considering it's not too far <laughs> from our apartment, but I am navigating myself around the city um, and kind of like finding my way around now and as Rick will contest to, I am directionally challenged. So, um, so this is very exciting. Uh, actually starting to live life as someone who lives here and knows where they're going. So most of the time, more times than not, let's just say. So that was also my exciting news for the day. back home because I, despite the number of notes I left myself on the door, left the sputum sample at home. So I will have some more practice on Denver streets, running home, grabbing my thing, <laughs> and try again. The good news from that little fiasco is that I got a good parking spot on the street so I could just run in quickly. I have my sputum sample in hand, this nice little biohazard bag, and I got to pee on my own toilet. So, um, not all is lost, and now I'm on my way back. More good news, I am going to eat my lunch in the car instead of the Jeremy Hospital place, and I get to see a little extra sunshine. So, okay, not all. Not too bad. Take two. NJH lab day. Here we go. <laughs> Place is packed. Okay, so I was literally just sent to four different departments and four different check-in stations, none of which <laughs> Uh, who knew how to do what I needed to have done. So I've had my blood drawn, I have handed in the sputum sample, so that is the thing I'm actually the most concerned about. I'm waiting for the ECG. Um, <laughs> chest pain. Um, but nobody seems to know where I should be going for that. <laughs> And the hearing test, I was told, first I was told it didn't exist in this building. 
but then I was told it existed in a different part of the building and <laughs> then I was told it did in fact exist in this building and then I should go there and then I was told I shouldn't go there so um, I left that area um, before I freaked out and um, I gave the guy my phone number the scheduler so he's gonna call me so I think what I'm gonna do is go outside and enjoy the day and get done the rest of what I need to get done uh, before I start to pull my hair out uh, so there there you have it <laughs> there's first lab day at or full lab day that's not just full lab day at NJ here we go. This is hysterical. I just, <laughs> I just walked to my old parking spot where I was the first time I parked here. So now I just finally made it back to my car, but I was just cracking up in the parking lot. People must have thought I was nuts. So my old parking spot was way across the parking lot. And this one is actually a better parking spot, closer to the hospital. However, <laughs> I made it a longer trip. Ah, what a day. But look at this. Blue skies. Mm, that's good. I need a nap. Holy shitballs. I'm tired. <laughs> I was in the middle of the grocery store and all of a sudden felt like I was going to toss my cookies. So, I uh, thank goodness I didn't. Got done what I needed to do. I'm on my way home right now. And hopefully gonna lie down for a little bit. But, look what I found. It's a little jacket for Bonnie. Ricky's gonna kill me, but it was on sale. It was only like 10 bucks, right? And she needs a new little jacket. Her other one's more of like a winter one. So this is like an in-between, it's raining one. So um, anyway, it made me happy <laughs> to get it. So um, we'll see if it fits her. That will be our excitement when we get home. Think somebody likes your new coat? Do you like your new coat? Do you? Let's see. Oh, you're so excited. Let's show everybody. Show everybody your new coat. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, you think that means you get food? What do we think? Is it a good fit? I think it might fit. Is it a little small? Hmm. Let's see. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, such a pretty girl. Give me a shake. Good job. You're such a champ. Say bye for now. Bye-bye. So, with all the chaos of the day, I forgot to do my midday nebs. I did the, the pills, but I didn't do the extra nebs. So, I just did that now, about three hours behind schedule. Um, so, it meant I, I didn't go to the park and actually I'm pretty pooped right now. I am hoping to take a little walk before uh, my 4.30 um, commitment. So, uh, it's been quite a day. <clears throat> I'm beat. I am reminded that I need to set alarms. There's one for the series of medications that happen in a day um it's one thing to set up pills although last night I actually forgot one round of those two I don't know what's happening with my mind but the number of nebs that I'm needing to get in I just have to be better I have to set phone alarms for stuff like that so working on it but I've got my resting buddy here with me right now let's see Miss Bonaduce. Hey, boo boo. Oh, she's very protective right now. Hey, hey, everything's okay. <laughs> so, that's a day in the life of KDT. I'm only about halfway done. <laughs> but it's all good. Oh, 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 yes. Say hi.